Hey yo, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to be coding AI with no experience and essentially trying to create Jarvis in real life. Now I may have lied just a little bit, I do have some experience in coding Java but for this to work, I need to use Python, and I have no idea how to use Python. So in this video, I'll show you everything I'm doing to complete this project, showing you what tutorials I'm using, showing you how I'm learning things, showing you how I'm coding things. And along with that, there's probably gonna be a part two to this video where I actually make an interface for this code to work on. So if all of this sounds interesting to you, maybe hit that subscribe button down below. But other than that, enjoy the video. So basically, I came in here knowing absolutely nothing about Python. So the first thing I did was I searched up a video targeting exactly what I needed to get done with Python. Luckily, there was this one video by this channel named Programming Hero, and this thing has done wonders for me. This is one of the only tutorials I've used for this project. This dude explained things so well, it was so simple. So the first thing I really did was copy and pasted all the code he wrote down, and I tried to make sense of it. Now after I made sense of the code and I did a few test runs making sure everything worked, I now wanted to write some of my own code. So this AI setup that we have here can do so much, like you can do anything with it. So there were two specific things I wanted to try and code by myself. Number one, I wanted to try and open an application on my computer using the AI. And number two, I wanted to figure out how to remotely start an Xbox using this AI program. So with the goals set in place, it's time to see if I can do this. All right, I think I'm done. And also I have a green screen now. That's that's pretty cool. That's why I don't have a body right now. But code, let me quickly run you through what I've got going on here before we test run it. All right, so this whole first section here is the import section. This is simply importing all the packages I need in order for the system to actually run and do something. After that, this stuff's basically just declaring all these packages to work. So this one's basically trying to recognize what you're saying from your speech. This one is basically text to speech this section is basically the ai's voice this is what is being inputted into the ai voice and what will be said by the ai and this right here is simply setting up the microphone and listening for your commands here and this section right here that essentially means it will only activate when you say jarvis which you know that's good <laughs> now after you say jarvis you can say one of the six commands I have set up here. They're all else if statements and they all follow the same format. Essentially, if a word is in the command that you say, that word will then correspond to a command. So for example, this one is uh, if, it could be else if, but it's only if here. If play is in command, it will simply say playing plus song. So it will say playing whatever song you desire. And then this code is basically getting the song for you. And that's the same kind of format that follows on the rest of them. Simply, if you say time, it will simply get you the time. It'll print the time. It, it, we shouldn't do that. It will get the time, it'll print the time, and then it will say the time. All of them are like that, except for this one. This one I definitely want to touch on more. This is the turn on Xbox command. So this is how I remotely start my Xbox command. So there was essentially a string of code that I was supposedly able to run here, but it never actually worked. So I had to take the Python file, add the Python file to this whole project here. And after that, basically able to declare each function set in this code in the main file. And this made everything work. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you this other file because in order for this to be a seamless process, I actually had to embed uh, IP addresses in here and I can't show you that. <laughs> So sorry if that's all blurred. I obviously didn't code all of that. It was this dude on GitHub that actually did it. So I'll leave a link to that in the description. I also want to leave a link in the description for this tutorial I found on how to call sub processes. So basically right here, I wanted to run Minecraft. So I simply searched up how to run applications using Python, got this easy sub process dot call uh, thing here, and I could run it. Now I already filmed myself test running this program. So let's hop over to that footage right now. Jarvis, play Old Bike by Rob Cantor. Playing Old Bike by Rob Cantor. 
There you go. That is a better run. Beautiful. Now what else can we do? We can just do a simple question. Jarvis, how has your day been? It's been okay. Thanks for asking. It's been okay. Thanks for asking. Jarvis, search up Iron Man. And this should essentially... Iron Man 2 is a 2010 American superhero film based on the Marvel Comics character Iron Man produced by Marvel Studios and distributed by Paramount Pictures. Jarvis, can you start Minecraft for me? Starting Minecraft. And here we go. Look at that! Let's go! I just realized my green screen has gotten a bit hazy. I don't know why. I don't know if it was like that the whole time. I'll get rid of the chroma key here. There we go. And we're gonna flip the camera around so you can see my Xbox run. Say hello to my basement. It's very messy right now. I am uh, in the middle of some big projects, so it's very messy. There's my furnace out there. It's super loud. I hate being down here. All right, here we go. Jarvis, turn on Xbox. Turning on Xbox. Look at that! That's my wheel going off. Cause the Xbox just turned on. There's the TV automatically turned on. Look at that! That's sick! That's sick! So I actually filmed this video like a month ago now and I forgot to do an outro and things have changed just a little bit. So anyway, thank you for watching. The, my computer just froze. Thanks for watching the video and I will see you later. All right, that was easy.